Okay, so today we're going to have a real quick look at this giant size, 31 inch tall Batman action figure from the Dark Knight Rises movie. So it's completely going to be out of frame. It's going to be completely just a debacle of a review because this thing is just so huge and so tall. But we'll just scroll scroll on up here for you, just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. He, he just blows up my whole review area. So let's get a closer look at this guy. All right, first we're going to just take a real quick look at his head sculpt here. I got to tell you, for what it is, and seeing this is a basic rubber squishy type plastic head, it's molded quite well. It's got some decent detail. Paint apps in the eyes are a little off, but, you know, it still works. It's, it's still okay. You know, you get a good customizer, you can probably paint up some detail in there and make it a little bit more realistic. But overall, it's not that bad. It's solid. Just a simple rotation on the neck there for articulation. And uh, that's about it. Here you can see the chest. And he's got the Batman emblem emblazoned on his chest here, on his chest armor, and some nice detail put in there. I really like what they were trying to do here. You know, for such a, a basic standing, just a bland figure, it's not really all that bad. It does have some decent detail. And here for articulation, just some standard rotation at the shoulders here and here. And he does have some glued on type armor here on his shoulders as well. We'll spin him around real quick, have a look at the back here. We'll lift up his cape and you can see they put some detail in there as well. Very nice. Now you can see his utility belt down here, where they got some nice detail and little pouches and containers where he's holding stuff. And the, the cape itself is a nice shiny black, silky looking color. All cloth hangs down, perfectly proportioned. It looks really nice. So you can see what they did here with the utility belt, which is very nice in the front. A Batman type emblem right there in the center. More utility pouches. Very cool. Gave him a nice abdomen. Six pack, four pack going on there. Right down through here. You can see on his wrist here, pan up a little bit. Now you can see on his forearm here, he gave him the weapon here, got some spikes there. It's the same thing on both sides. Now it's a double, there's like two right there. There's two, two, and two. So there's like six of them there. And they're actually kind of, they are kind of pointy and sharp. So if you're a parent thinking about buying this for your young one, um, yes, these, these could hurt a child. Absolutely. So be careful and mindful of that. And he does have some wrist articulation as well, and that's about it. And it looks like if he had some kind of, if he had a, uh, a weapon of some sort, like a gun or a sword or something, his hand is designed to hold something in there. So if he had something laying around, he could probably fashion him with some kind of extra weapon. All right, so we take a look at the legs here, and you can see where they gave him some basic articulation. There's just some basic up and down motion here at the pelvis here. And that's it. There's nothing else going on with him. It's, you know, more than you can ex uh, expect for something like this here. You know, it's a big old tall, hollow type of figure. Um, and they gave him some nice detail in through here as well. Very nice. I like that. So I'm actually quite impressed considering what this is. And here at the knees, there is no articulation. There is no knee bend or anything. But it still does look nice. And for something like this, it's big and tall as it is. You know, it's, it's not really designed for posability as much as it is uh, to hand to your child and just have them beat it up pretty good. But here's some articulation in the boots, which is really nice. It's just a simple spin around here, and that's all it really does. It's nice and shiny through here. Decent little, like, detail through here in the back of the boots. Very cool. I like this figure. It stands pretty good. It's definitely worth having. If you're a, if you're a novelty collector and you, you like collecting the figures, for what, for what it's worth, this figure is definitely, definitely a must-have, if anything, just for a display piece. Okay, for size comparison real quick, you can see he's standing next to my 22 inch quarter scale NECA Predator. So that just gives you an idea of actually how big, bulky, and tall Batman stands. It's just, it's actually just amazingly huge. And for $20, this thing is just, it's a must have, you know, for either your collection, it's a perfect gift for a young one. Oh yeah, absolutely a must have. So there you go, everybody. 31 inch tall, the Dark Knight Rises Batman action figure. People are finding this thing everywhere at Walmart and what have you. Is it worth getting? Absolutely. I love this thing. I love this thing very much. I'm going to hand it off to my son, and I'm going to hunt down another one for myself for my own collection because this thing is just totally awesome, and my son's going to rip this thing apart. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time.